Hi, my name is Adam Pfeffer. I'm an agronomic systems manager with Bear Crop Science here in Canada. I'm just out in one of my soybean fields here. Um, wanted to chat about uh, a new product or a product we launched a couple of years ago in the marketplace called Roundup Extend. Uh, it's a pre-formulated uh, mixture of glyphosate uh, and dicamba in a two to one ratio. Um, excellent product for both burn down and in crop applications on your Roundup 32 extend soybeans, uh, as well as uh, of many other applications. Um, these soybeans here uh, were planted a couple weeks ago. Um, they're entering their second trifoliate. Uh, first trifoliate's almost fully um, fully expanded. The second trifoliate's coming. Uh, this was a conventional till situation. Uh, so my plan is to come in here uh, within the next few days and apply the high label rate of Roundup Extend um, to maximize my uh, in-crop residual uh, broadleaf um, control of those small seeded annual broadleaf weeds. You can see in the field here, uh, pretty nice spectrum of um, annual broadleaf weeds. We've got quite a bit of common ragweed, lamb's quarters, a little bit of red root pigweed coming. The odd, uh, the odd foxtail, uh, this farm also got a little bit of prozo millet um, and, uh, and a bit of volunteer for corn from last year. So history on this field, again, um, uh, heavy use of uh, IP soybeans in the past rotated with wheat. Um, you do see a bit of corn residue in here from last year's crop. Um, and that was really the second corn crop that this field's ever seen. Um, so a lot of usage of, of products in the group two category. Uh, certainly a lot of group 5 and 15 utilized in those soybean, uh, IP soybeans over the last number of decades. So introducing two uh, effective modes of action in this situation being Roundup, uh, group 9 glyphosate uh, with dicamba in that Roundup Extend premix is really going to bring, uh, again, two effective modes of action on this weed, current weed spectrum and, uh, and should provide a very uh, high level of control. Uh, that I would expect to see here. The other ways uh, you could utilize Roundup Extend, again, a pre-formulated mixture of glyphosate and dicamba. Um, you know, if, you, if I was in a pre-emerge or um, pre-plant, sorry, pre-emerge uh, application, um, you know, you could certainly tank mix it with products like Sencor. Uh, we've looked quite extensively at that combination and the addition of that group five residual tank mix partner certainly lengthens the amount of broadleaf uh, residual that we do see um, out of that combination. And certainly there's lots of other products in the marketplace um, that you can tank mix with Roundup Extend to really uh, broaden out the weed spectrum. Um, so again, if you want a residual grass product, um, you know, additional broadleaf residual. Um, and certainly if you're dealing with uh, challenging weeds like glyphosate resistant Canada fleabane or, um, you know, glyphosate resistant water hemp, dicamba is going to bring us uh, a very nice uh, tool in the toolbox uh, for those weeds in particular. Um, but we definitely want to make sure that we're tank mixing that with another effective mode of action uh, for proper stewardship. So again, Roundup Extend um, uh, comes in both 10 liter jugs and 450 liter totes. Um, and certainly consider it uh, in your burn down early post-emerge uh, applications in your Roundup 32 Extend soybeans next year. Um, and uh, consider utilizing it uh, with other residual products such as Suncor. Uh, to broaden out the weed spectrum and, uh, and improve the overall residual activity. So again, I um, <clears throat> wanted to uh, discuss that with you tonight and, uh, and hopefully you have a good luck this season. Thanks, take care.